big developing story tonight surrounding Air Force uh, Commander Lieutenant Colonel Matthew Lohmeyer, who was removed from his post on Friday after he made explosive revelations about the increasing presence of Marxist and critical race theory ideologies inside the U.S. military, comments he made on a recent podcast. And in reference to his self-published book, Lohmeyer says he did consult with his superiors about how this critical race theory push was causing unnecessary divisions inside our armed forces and says he also obtained counsel from a public affairs officer and base legal. So why fired? Why, why did this happen? Here to explain, author of the new book, Irresistible Revolution, Lieutenant Colonel Matthew Lohmeyer, who is now, by the way, speaking in his personal capacity, not his views. Uh, they don't necessarily reflect the official policy of the Department of Defense. Okay, tell us exactly what happened. Sean, I appreciate you having me on the show. And in fact, that statement that you just read that came from Air Force Public Affairs I included in the front of my book uh, three times, once on the copyright page, once in the front matter, and again in the introduction to the book. Um, what happened is I began noticing some time ago, and not just in the past few months, but over the past several years, uh, an increasing relevance of what I saw was uh, Marxist ideology parading around by other names. Uh, the defense secretary in February, I think it was February 5th of this year, uh, called for an extremism down day and issued a guidance memorandum to all service members. And in the guidance memorandum, he basically gave an injunction to every service member to combat extremist ideologies within the force where they saw them and to take it upon ourselves to protect one another and to speak up and educate one another about extremist ideologies when we discovered them causing divisions within the force. And that's me paraphrasing the guidance memorandum. So I, I include that in the introduction to the book as well. Okay, so you had recognized the narratives as being Marxist in nature, your words, not mine, and also you mm -hmm. said it teaches intensive teaching that I heard at the base at a time the Constitution ratified the U.S., codified white supremacy as the law of the land. Uh, are, are they not aware that uh, we fought a civil war, that the 64-65 Civil Rights Act, Voting Rights Act, that Joe Biden's friend, by the way, filibustered, uh, side note, uh, while not perfect, we have made incredible strides, have incredible more to go. Uh, towards a more perfect union. Is that not recognized at all? I think it is recognized. And I think, you know, one of the things the Defense Department does very well is make it very clear that we've got zero tolerance for discrimination of any kind based on race, uh, sex, politics, religion, etc. that's et standard. Ex and so that's the standard, right? And so to that end, I've made that very clear to my own people that in the light of a hyper-politicized environment that I've seen since taking command, and I'm no longer in command, uh, I will not tolerate any discrimination of any kind based on politics, for example. And so let me give you one example of what I saw uh, in the past 10 months when I was in command of a unit. Uh, there were videos being sent out to every base uh, service member that we were asked to watch in preparation for our extremism down days and uh, discussions on race, in which we were taught that the country was evil, that it was founded in 1619 and not 1776, and that whites are inherently evil. And so I speak up against those things in my book. I would think in the military that you talk about a brotherhood and a bond that really is kind of unimaginable in real life because you all have each other's back on the battlefield. Thank you for uh, updating us. Appreciate it. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.